All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mercury goes direct in five hours, and I woke up today feeling like I'd been in a hundred round prize fight. But then when I went to my mailbox, I had two letters from Al and Lisa and the Hopi Warrior Princess and the uh, Viking Marine. That lifted my spirits. So I just wanted to say, welcome to the future, everybody. It is always interesting. And thank you to Asteroid Fight Club for all the love, all the support, all the prayers, and all the staying cool and telling jokes when you can. All right, the sun is starting to wake back up again. So we are out of solar minimum conditions. We have new sunspot AR2803, which has produced a B-class solar flare. We are getting hit by solar winds that are sparking auroras that are pretty magnificent and we just had a filament tear off which would then qualify as a coronal mass ejection i do believe and when i started thor news i was like hey y'all the sun is acting really 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 weird and then a few days later nasa came out and said that the solar maximum was double peaked which kind of admitted that yeah it was really 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 weird so it's been my opinion and it continues to be my opinion that the sun is strange and magical and very divine, so we don't technically know what the sun is going to do next. Just like the star Betelgeuse has been dimming for a year, stars are um, bigger and live longer than humans, so stars may understand us. I doubt it because we're kind of crazy, but I don't think we fully understand stars and especially our home sun. So, like Mother Nature, they can surprise us at almost any time. Erica Palimario, possibly an Earth-directed coronal mass ejection from a quiet sun filament this time. Note the bright elongated regions that develop after dark filament disappears. These are flare ribbons, strong signatures that an eruption occurred. And so, yeah, you know, 2021 will be filled with surprises on pretty much almost every level. That is my opinion. I could be wrong. Let us reassess and reevaluate at the end of the year. And if we are watching the hot box situation that goes from Europe all the way to Mexico and Guatemala, we can see that we are getting some earthquake and volcano signals in central Mexico. There they are. And so we have the Pacaya volcano in Guatemala that continues to kind of freak out along with Mount Etna in Italy. So, hey, it's almost like the tail is going straight to the Pacaya volcano. Uh, so you got, is that Etna? Yep, Mount Etna. So, there's your two crap down there. And down, I mean, it's almost like a straight line up. We have a new Etna paroxysm underway. Yo. And Pacaya in Guatemala is still freaking out. And Fuego's been freaking out since 2019, and definitely Papa Catepal has been freaking out since 2019. So we have lots of volcanoes that are very, very, very active right now. And I don't know if you know this, that definitely messes with and changes weather and weather patterns. It is my belief that energy from the sun goes into the earth through the auroral patterns at the top and the bottom of the planet, and then goes into the core of our planet, which is a star, and that causes that star in the middle of our core of our planet to grow, which then causes earthquakes and volcanoes and the planet to grow. And so, you know, modern petroleum science, when I said modern, I mean 1988, I mean 1888, doesn't really agree with that. That's trick. Was it talking about? Oh, yeah, so it will go down as like the coldest month on record since 1981. So there you go. Oh, and remember, if you followed my Nostradamus breakdown for 2021, we're looking out for a brand new strain of something bad in february and so we have reports that russia's first cases of the h5 and 8 bird flu have been detected i would guess in russia and also in very bad news i had predicted that more people would die from this winter storm so everyone should prepare than did all in any one storm or hurricane during hurricane season last year and unfortunately i was correct we had at least 50 people so far that died in a storm affected by 
carbon monoxide poisoning, car crashes, drownings, house fires, and hypothermia. And then if you want some super doom, we had a 4.2 earthquake in the middle of Oklahoma near Kansas. What up, Mikey T? You rock. Uh, you'd say, why is that super doomy? And well, if you follow the Edgar Casey Mack stuff, like a an 8.0 in the middle of Oklahoma or 9 would be like super catastrophe. But let's keep our spirits up because spring is coming. And this is an optimist channel. I believe that once we get past all the crappy crap, things will improve. And once the sun really starts to wake up, things will definitely improve. And after like a couple of days without power, I'm just happy my lights are on. Although I got a food situation going on. Like I've had this, I've not talked about this. I've like, a, I bought a $5 pack of bacon, which for me is a lot of money. I don't spend that much on bacon usually. And then the power went out before I had a chance to cook it. And so I've been like spending three days going, should I eat it? Should I not eat it? Because when the power went out, it was still cold. <sighs> but uh, then I read like what happens when you eat bad bacon. Apparently eating bad bacon can really tear you up. So I'm not going to do that. Was it talking about? Oh, volcanoes and the weather and the sun. And so it's definitely interesting that this whole volcano chain is totally lit. Yet this volcano chain it's still quiet. Will that remain? Probably not. Shout out to the Cajun fam. They definitely had some weird days in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, in the south. You know, it doesn't freeze and get super snowy in Louisiana very often. But when it does, it creates beautiful images and dangerous situations. Vincent Ledvina, time lapse of the Aurora from 2020. And yeah, like I said, this, this solar wind is hitting us. And then we may be getting hit by a coronal mass ejection. Don't freak out, though. We survived the, the small to medium ones. And, you know, like I said, solar energy can be good for the planet overall. But definitely, lots of Texas got a lot of snow. Some places up to 80, 18 inches. We're dealing with, we'll be dealing with damage from this storm from water pipes breaking, uh, flooding from water pipes breaking. Just and then people are getting bills now for like eight thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure I have a fixed rate. I guess we'll find out my next bill. But hey, if my next fundraiser is for like ten thousand dollars, you know why. Yeah, so most of us survived the mini ice age that lasted a week. And I gotta say, I think it's gonna be a hot summer and it is gonna be a very active hurricane season. We're only 101 days away from hurricane season. That's crazy, right? I'm gonna have to get some vacationing in in between that's impossible okay oh yeah but this is supposed to represent all those coal records that were totally shattered over the last week it was quite a few that was definitely an event and i was in the middle of it right down here indonesia's mount merapi is getting in on the volcano action as well this is mount Papagatepal. um which, like I said, is, it's pretty much always active, constantly. That magma be moving, which is why we watch that hot box daily. But if I didn't mention it expressly, let me do it now. So you got another storm that'll be moving through, and it'll be hitting everybody pretty much but Texas. And so that, I mean, just get everybody ready and warned, and you're going to have some sleet and some ice here. You're definitely going to have a lot of snow. You're going to have a lot more rain for the south. And then the Pacific Northwest gets their next uh, injection of precipitation, snow, and madness. So, you know, we still got eight more days left in this wild and crazy month. And I just want to say thank you again to everybody out there. You guys are super fantastic. Technically, I super love my job. And the fact that I haven't had to hit an alarm clock and wake up to an alarm clock in years, that is so great. And technically, I don't have a boss. So that's one of the best things about it. But there are problems that come along with this job as well. Anyway, I just want to say that I love you guys. You guys are super duper fantastic. Awesome. I appreciate you. Yeah, the future is going to be continue to be filled with challenges. And hopefully we will rise to meet them together as one Earth team. All right. Everybody stay cool. May God bless you. May you have a great weekend. And may we all have better days ahead. Peace out.